Okay, now we need to create a controller and our views in order to uh, loop through all of our podcasts on the explore page or the slash podcast page. So let's go back to our terminal. Let's do a git as to make sure we're on a clean directory, which we are. Let's do a rails generate controller and we'll do a podcast controller. Hit enter and then go to sublime text. Let's close out of these files for now. All right, now under controllers, podcast controller. Okay, now on localhost, let's go to slash podcasts. We get a routing error. So that should tell you what we need to do next. Open up our routes file and create resources for resources uh, for our podcasts. And we only want resources for both the index and the show. So let's save that, go back and refresh. Now we're getting a uh, unknown action uh, index. So let's go back to our podcast controller, do a def index end and refresh. Now we get a template is missing error. So let's create that template. Go under app uh, views. Uh, Rails already created a podcast directory for us. So click on that, create a new file save as index.html.erb. So if uh, we go to the podcast page in our static template, uh, remember we have the banner and then we loop through all of the podcasts. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy all of this over and then we will change it over to the embedded Ruby. But for now, let's just Go back, refresh. Perfect. So we have the banner showing up as it should uh, with discover your favorite podcasts. Uh, let's uh, write a loop to uh, loop through all of the podcasts. So inside of the UL, what we want to do is do a Ruby tag um, at podcast dot each do podcast. So what this is going to do is it's going to loop through all of the podcasts and for each podcast, it's going to print out and run the code within this block. So let's uh, end this before we forget. Now up here, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, change this link. We want to uh, do a link to, and we're gonna do a block. So we're gonna do link to, uh, well, let's check out the rake routes. So the podcast show, we're going to copy the podcast and path and then, whoops, and then add do and then close it out. And then again, let's end this before we forget. Then inside of here, we are going to copy the LI stuff. Um, instead of the Narwhal's podcast, let's change this to podcast.title. And then the episode count we'll just keep as is for now. So let's go ahead and delete all the stuff down here, down to the UL, and uh, see if we get any errors, which we do. Undefined method dot each. So that is because uh, we have not defined what at podcast means inside of our uh, controller. So let's do at podcast equals uh, podcast dot all dot order and we'll order by created at in descending order. So let's go and refresh. Okay, so now we get a no routes match error. Um, I think that is because this, instead of podcast path, should just be podcast. Let's save and refresh. There we go. So this is now looping through all of the podcasts. It's trying to grab an image, but uh, we have not set those up or we have not set up the paperclip images just yet. Uh, let's try to click on one. So we go to the podcast show page, but we get an unknown action because we have not set that up just yet. So let's uh, let's take care of that right now. Let's do a def show and refresh. Now we get a template is missing error. So let's create that template under app views podcast, let's create a new file show.html.erb. And again, let's uh, close out of the static index file and uh, open up the podcast show file. 
So we have the header. Let's copy everything from the podcast show um, down. Let's copy the pagination too. Why not? So the show file, let's paste this stuff in here. Make sure to tab it over. Cool, that looks good. Save it and refresh. So the images don't show up. Everything else is just static for now. Uh, let's change this to uh, dynamic at podcast.title. Save and refresh. We'll probably get an error, which we do undefined method title. And that is because we have not uh, defined what the at podcast is inside of our controller. So in our controller, let's go under the def show. So we're going to do at podcast equals podcast.find, and we're going to find it by the params of colon ID. Go back and refresh. So now this is uh, the rocket ship podcast. If I go back and click on the narwhals podcast, that will be changed. Okay, so let's go back to the show template, uh, remove this uh, static code, and we are going to do at podcast dot description. Go back and refresh. So there's no description for the po Narwhals podcast yet, um, but the Rocket Ship podcast has this in it. Perfect. So we want to do these links a bit different because um, they may or may not add those links. Because, and that's because a podcast may not have an iTunes account and a podcast may not have a Stitcher account. So we want to write the Ruby code to only show it if it's not blank. So how we're going to do that is uh, opening Ruby tag unless at podcast.itunes.blank question mark. We will do a link and uh, we'll end that down here. And then the link is going to be the um, po at podcast.itunes. And then I will do the same for the and Stitcher and Podbay. So let's change this to pod bay, this to stitcher. And then I'm going to copy this and replace it here and here. And then I'll change this to stitcher and this to pod bay. Save that. Now if we go back and refresh, they're still showing up. But if I um, go to podcast slash edit, Oops, podcast, podcast slash edit, make it plural. And I remove one of the links. For example, if I remove Stitcher and Podbay, enter my password and save it. Now, if I go back to Explorer, well, that link isn't set up yet. So we'll do podcasts. If I click on the Rocket Ship podcast, now only the iTunes link it shows up because only the iTunes link is uh, not blank. And if I go to the Narwhals podcast, nothing shows up because uh, nothing is filled in. All right, next, let's take care of this uh, breadcrumb link. So instead of an ahref, what I'm going to do is uh, link to uh, podcast path. And then I will just copy this info and paste it in here. So let's save it, go back and see how it looks. Oh, uh, whoops, we need a do block. There we go. Now if I click that, we go back to the podcast page. Perfect. So we don't have any podcast episodes to loop through just yet, but the podcast index, AKA the explore page, and the podcast show page are now set up for the most part. So next thing I want to do is let's fix these links. So if I click explore, I go to the right place. So on the welcome index, let's uh, change the explore to an, a link to tag. 
link underscore two. And then we are going to say explore and we're going to go to, um, uh, not sure what path, the podcast path. And then let's add a class of button, button white. There we go. And let's delete this. Let's copy that and do the same for the explore links up here. And let's just remove this class from each of them. Save, go back and refresh. Now, if I hit explore, I go to the podcast page. Perfect. Now let's do the same. Let me copy this and go to the application layout. And inside the header, we'll change these links. Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's go to terminal, do a git status, git status. All right, we'll do a git uh, add dot git s, okay, git commit. Let's add the message dash am add podcast uh, controller and views. All right, let's do git s, we're good. Let's do a git push. And let's do a git push Heroku master. Okay, now let's do a Heroku open. Check that out. Now let's click explore. Now we have the first podcast. We only have one user, but that looks good. All right, so in the next video, we are actually going to set up the podcast episodes. <laughs>